different means of transport have you ever wondered how people traveled in earlier days in the early days people have always used animals to travel from one place to the other for example bullock cart horse cart etc can you imagine using a bullock cart to come to school every day now nowadays we have progressed and we have learned that we can use fuel and natural resources to create better modes of transport as you can see hence we now have cars buses railways motorbikes aeroplanes ships etc to travel measuring lengths do you know how people find out how much they have traveled or how much is the length of a leg of a chair this is done by using a measuring device measurement means comparing an unknown quantity with a known quantity the known fixed quantity is called a unit for measuring the length of any object we need to choose an appropriate device so as to get accurate results for example the measuring scale that a carpenter uses is different than the one that is used by a tailor if these objects are interchanged you can imagine the amount of confusion it will cause standard unit of measurement let us study about standard unit of measurement measurement means the comparison of an unknown quantity with some known quantity this known fixed quantity is called a unit when we say the measurement of a length is 10 meters we actually mean it is 10 times the definite length called meter in this lesson we will discuss about standard unit of measurement in detail standard unit of measurement in the early days units of measurements included the length of a foot the distance of a step and the width of a hand however these were difficult to maintain as the standard lengths as the length of a foot would vary from person to person to standardize the units a metric system was put in place the system of standard units of measurement used now is known as the international system of units si units The SI unit of length is a meter. Each meter is divided into 100 equal divisions. These are called centimeters. Each centimeter has 10 equal divisions. These divisions are called millimeters (mm). For measuring large distances, meter is not a convenient unit. we use a unit called kilometers km measuring length and breadth of a floor rachna's parents bought a new home they needed to have the carpet for the floor when the carpet maker came to see the house he took out his measuring tape and wrote down the length and height of the floors in each room This helped him calculate how much carpet he needed and also how much he would charge for the job. Measuring width of cricket pitch. 
the width of the cricket pitch can be measured by the help of danda and gilli rekha and rahul first put a mark on the half of the pitch and then they measured it as one danda and one gilli from each half that means its width is two danda and gilli correct measurement of length measuring tape is most commonly used for measuring length of objects it is a long graduated strip of flexible plastic or rubber or that of an alloy it has a zero mark at one of its ends and divisions are marked in centimeters and inches along its length following measurements are considered to have correct measurements when we are asked to measure the length of a block using a measuring tape then the zero mark on the tape is made to coincide with one end of the block and the reading coinciding with the other end of the block is taken in order to measure the length of the block more accurately its length is measured along positions of the tape instead of zero mark any other mark say 2 or 4 and then the average of these measurements is taken the reading so obtained gives the required length of the object it should be noted that the steps involved in the measurement using a measuring tape and a meter scale are almost identical measuring curved lines let us study about measurement of curved lines a curve is generally speaking an object similar to a line but which is not required to be straight in this lesson we will discuss about measurement of curved lines in detail to measure a curved line the standard measuring tape will not be enough you will have to use a different mechanism to arrive at the correct length of the curved line to measure you will use a thread along the line of the curve you will use the thread from one end of the curved line to the other by stretching the thread along the line after you are done straighten the thread and measure its length you will know the length of the curved line accurately motion and rest let us study about motion and rest motion is a change in position of an object with respect to time and its reference point rest in physics refers to an object being stationary relative to a particular frame of reference or another object In this lesson we will discuss about motion and rest in detail. We see many things moving around us. A boy walking along a road. A man running a race. A boy driving a car. A speeding truck. moving dogs a flying bird are few examples of things showing motion rest a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surroundings for example house trees mountains types of motion rectilinear let us study about types of motion motion is a change in position of an object with respect to time and its reference point linear motion also called rectilinear motion is motion along a straight line in this lesson we will discuss about rectilinear motion 
types of motions as you know motion is the change in position of an object with time rectilinear motion it is the type of motion in which objects move along a straight line for example march past of soldiers in a parade motion of a vehicle on a straight line a falling stone types of motion circular motion is a change in position of an object with respect to time and its reference point you have learned about rectilinear motion in this lesson we will discuss about circular motion if a body moves in such a way that its distance from a fixed point always remains the same the body is said to be in circular motion types of motions circular motion it is the motion of an object that keeps a constant distance from a fixed point for example the motion of a fixed point marked on the blade of an electric fan or the hands of a clock the distance of this point from the center of the fan or the clock will remain the same as they rotate types of motion periodic motion is a change in position of an object with respect to time and its reference point you have learned about rectilinear and circular motions in the previous modules in this lesson we will discuss about periodic motion a motion where an object or a part of it repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time is called periodic motion periodic motion it is the type of motion in which the object repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time for example motion of a child on a swing motion of a pendulum strings of a guitar surface of drums when being played combination of different types of motion when an object does not show any regular motion the motion of the object is called random motion these types of motion have no direction and no sequence of time